For this video, we're going to be discussing graphing linear equations. So, in order to graph a line on a coordinate plane, there are a couple of different ways that we can do that. And the three that we're going to be talking about today are we're going to be talking about graphing an equation if I'm just given two points that are on the line, graphing an equation if I'm given a point and the slope, and then graphing if I'm given the equation. So let's start by talking about graphing an equation given two points. So this is by far the easiest method. And all we need to do to do this is we simply plot the two points on the coordinate plane and then just draw the line between them. For example, I've got this line here that was just drawn between negative 3, 3 and 3, negative 1. But say I gave you the points like 4, 2 and 0, 3. Then all I'd have to do is I'd go, okay, 4, 2, here's 4, here's 2, there's a point. 0, 3, here's 0, here's 3, there's another point. And to graph this equation, I just take and I draw a straight line that goes, well, I don't want the line to be white because it's a little hard to see. Let's make this a little clearer. I just want to draw a line that goes between them. All right, you notice that I make this line extra long because... I don't want my line to just connect those two points. My line has to go on and on and on forever in both directions. So that's all we have to do. In order to plot, or in order to graph a line given two points, all I have to do is plot those two points and then draw the line between them. So let's take a look at an example. It says graph the equation with an x-intercept of 7 and a y-intercept of 3. All right. Well, if I know my x-intercept is 7, that's the point. 7, 0, right? Because y is always 0, zero at our x-intercept. So I just go, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's point seven zero, And then if my y-intercept is 3, well, that's the point zero, 3. So I just go up, 1, 2, 3. There's a point. I've got my two points plotted. So now all I have to do to draw my graph is draw a line that goes between them. So I get a line that looks like this. No problem at all, super easy. So when we're given two points, all we need to do to draw our line, or to graph our equation is simply plot our points and draw a line between them. All right, so now we're gonna move on to graphing an equation when we're given a point and the slope. So it's gonna be a little different because instead of having two points and being able to draw the line, we only have one point. So we need to find out a way that we can figure out another point. And here's how we're going to do it. To graph, all we're going to do is we're going to plot the point that we're given. So if I draw it like this, here's the plot, the point that we're given. We're dealing with 3, 2 here. So I plotted 3, 2. And then we're going to use the slope to plot another point. And if I know that m equals 3, I can think of 3 as being 3 over 1 which we know is our rise over our run, right? So we know that if we go three up, three being our rise, we're going to go one to the right because that's our run and it's positive, so we're gonna move in that direction. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna be like, okay, we're gonna to move to the right one. I should fill in right here. We start at three, two, we move to the right one and then we move 3 up, we get this point right here, which is 4, 5. And then we just draw the line between them. All right, so we use the slope to come up with another point, and then we draw the line between them. So let's try an example of this. We want to graph an equation that contains the point 2, 3 with a slope of negative 3 fourths. So first let's point two, plot 2, 3. Here's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Now, our slope is negative 3 fourths. Now, we can think of that as being that we're going 3 down and 4 to the right. So if we do that, we can go over here. We can say, okay, I'm going to move 1, 2, I'm sorry, I'm going to go move 1, 2, 3 spots down, and now I'm going to go 4 to the right. One, two, three, four to the right. And now I've got another point here. This is at 
zero, and seven. All right. No, sorry, no. What am I doing here? Not zero seven. I'm a little bit crazy on that one. How about six zero? That's more right. Okay. Now I can also go the other way. Because my slope's negative three fourths, I can think of that as being three over negative four, which I could say is three up and four to the left. Okay, either one of these is gonna work. If I go three up and four to the left, that's one, two, three up, one, two, three, four to the left. Here's another point. All right, so I've actually drawn three points. I really only needed to draw two. And now if I draw a line that goes between them, you will see that this line will connect all three points. See, like that. Well, had I been able to draw a line correctly, it would connect all three points. Let's try that again. Line should connect all three points. There we go. That's a little better. So anyways, all we need to do to graph this is we simply use our point and then we use our slope to come up with another point. So for this point here, I just said, okay, I'm going down one, two, three, and then I'm going over four, one, two, three, four, and that got me this point, six, zero. Or I could go up three, one, two, three, and then to the left, four, one, two, three, four, and that gave me this point right here, which is negative two, six. And either way, I still have this same line. So we just plot our point and then use the slope to plot another point. The final thing we're gonna discuss is graphing when given an equation. So to do this, we're gonna have to do a couple of things. First thing we're gonna have to do is put the equation in slope intercept form. Okay, then that will tell us what the y-intercept is, so we're gonna plot that y-intercept. Then we're gonna use the slope to plot a second point, and then we're gonna draw our line. So for example, over here I have graph y equals one half x plus four. Well, this is already in slope-intercept form, so that part's done already. Now I need to plot the y-intercept. Well, you should know that this four right here, that is the y-intercept. So, that tells me that I've got the point 0, 4, because x is always 0 at the y-intercept. So I just go right here and I say, there we go. Now I'm going to use my slope of 1 half to draw another point. So this is a positive slope. That means that if I go 1 up, I'm going to go 2 right. So I'm going to go up 1. Now I'm going to go 2 right, 1, 2. I've got this point right here. 2, 5. I could do another one. I could go up 1, 1, 2, right. That's 4, 6. I could also go 1 down and 2 left. For some reason, I can't write the word right today. If I go 1 down and 2 left, that's down 1, 1, 2, left. And so we're given these dots here that we can use, and all we have to do is draw our line connecting the dots, and we've got our graph. So all we do, if we're given the equation, is we put it in slope-intercept form, use the y-intercept as our point, and use the slope to come up with another point. So let's do an example of this. It says, graph 4x plus 5y equals 15. So in this case, we're not in, in slope-intercept form already, so we've got to do that. Got to put this in a slope-intercept form. First step is subtract 4x on both sides, so I get 5y equals 15 minus 4x. Divide both sides by 5, and I get y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 3. So, now that I have this equation, well, I know my y-intercept is at 0, 3, and I know my slope is at negative 4 fifths. So, all I'm going to do, we know negative 4, this is going to be down. 5 is going to be to the right. So I'm going to start here at 0, 3. 
my y-intercept, and I'm going to move four down, one, two, three, four, and five to the right, one, two, three, four, five to the right. And that gives me this point here at five, negative one. Now I can also go the other way, I can go four up and five to the left, so I can go one, two, three, four up, five to the left, one, two, three, four, I've got the point, oh, I think I messed up. I think I was supposed to go five to the left, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So here I've got the point, negative five, seven. All right, so all we did, put this in a slope intercept form, plot the point zero, three, use a slope to plot another point. In this case, I slope, plotted two, and now I'm just going to draw my line connecting my points and we have graphed our equation. So there you have it. There are three different ways to graph an equation. And what you need to do now, and I should probably put A and B on here, is you need to take each one of these problems right here and match it to the graph below.